Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be checking out Prairie Artisan Ale's Corner Piece Imperial Stout. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out Prairie Artisan Ale's Corner Piece. Now, they're known for making, well, Da Bomb Imperial Stout and the variants of those. So let's see how well this goes. Very thick, very thick. This beer comes in at 11% ABV, a unavailable IBUs, and gets an average rating on untapped of 4.23. An Imperial Stout with birthday cake flavor. What a description. All right. Hmm. Smells just sweet. No, I mean, I'm not getting like chocolate or cocoa or, or stoutiness. Actually, I'm just smelling sugar. Kind of like a cake and not a chocolate cake. That's weird. But it could just be, you know, because everything's at the top. Check this out. Whoa, that's sweet. Ooh, that's sweet though. You know, but it's not, actually that's, that's pretty good. It is very sweet. It is definitely a sweet stout. It is not bourbon barrel age or anything like that. And this really hits that balance of really sweetness to not overly sweet. It, it teeters right there. And that's, it's pretty good. I, the this little 12 ounce bottle is probably the most I would want. Yeah, it's, it's actually surprisingly really good. It does kind of remind me of cake and the weirdest part is it's not chocolate cake. It's like confetti cake. <laughs> In a stout, that doesn't make any sense. But it's sweet, instantaneous on the tongue. Sugar, and you think it's going to like just keep building and building and then it just dies. And then you're getting this roastiness at the back end. It's not very intense, it's just subtle at the very end. And then you get this molasses flavor at the very, very back end, and that's what lingers around. It's almost like honey, molasses, some caramel. It does make you think of a cake, but it doesn't make me think of chocolate cake. Now, it could be that I'm just, you know, thinking fondant. It tastes like fondant. That's what this tastes like. It doesn't taste like cake, it tastes like fondant. Not good frosting, but fondant. Overly sugar fondant. And if that's kind of what they're going for, because you know, a lot of birthday cakes are made with that. This actually hits that mark. <sighs> yeah, not really a whole lot in the aroma category. You know, it, it's very hard to pick anything out in this. Just it's just a lot of sweetness. There's no big roasty notes coming out of it. There's nothing coming out of this other than it's a big, thick stout. And like I said, even the chocolate notes or the roasty notes aren't really prominent because of all that sugar that's in there. It's not overly too sweet. You know, this is probably the most I ever want. I would have probably even been happier with eight ounces of this, and that would have been the perfect amount, but I understand they don't make eight ounce glass bottles. But it doesn't drink like 11%. It does taste the sweetness of like, they're hiding something in an 11%. But from what I can taste of the beer, like I said, that there's a little bit of roastiness that comes back in, it, it seems very well crafted. There's no alcohol burn whatsoever. It almost seems like I would really enjoy this with out the sweet birthday cake flavor added to it. And the fact they say birthday cake flavor and not birthday cake or cake mix or something like that or cake frosting, it's just birthday cake flavor. So it's artificial birthday cake flavoring into a stout. Are they trying to hide something? I don't know. But you know, it, it's a very nice 11% sweet stout. Can't complain. 
unless you don't like sweet stouts. Then you can complain all you want. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. And while you're down here, go ahead and leave a comment or two. You know, have you ever tried any Perry Artisan Ale? Have you ever tried any Prairie Artisan Ale's Stouts, The Bomb, Corner Piece? Let me know. See you guys.